Okay, are we ready to dive back into the lore that is ETs? Yes. Yeah. You're now reacting to Say My Name, which is a prequel to their debut, Pirate King. You guys reacted that a couple sessions ago. Um, Pirate, Pirate King was the story of how their journey to become Pirate Kings came to be. But this song, Say My Name, is a song of how the members find each other and become ATs. In this music video, we are introduced to ATs' doppelgangers called the Holotees, who are ATs from a different dimension. Tees. Is that a play on word? It's just T E E Z. It's not T-E-E-Z. like a te- like a tease, like a tease, no. like a little teaser. I would love to see a tease do a cheese its commercial. I just feel like it'd be so fun. <laughs> I'm A-T-E-Z very curious says if this cheese. has a tease cheese its. <laughs> and uh, say my name reminds me of the one by Beyonce. So I'm curious say my if name. Any say my name. Connection there. No one is right. Let's go. I love you. I love you. All right. Three, two, Sorry. one. Sorry. <laughs> Is this a cult? Okay, fur. <laughs> <laughs> Is he holding a bugle? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like dropping it. it. <laughs> Very different vibe. Very different. Okay. <laughs> right off the bat, he's like. <laughs> Why does this remind me of Despacito? It does. I love how each voice progressively got higher. Mm-hmm. It like started really low. I think it's interesting that they use that like dot 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 like that very chesty like resonant thing, and then like the nasal like da 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 da. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god! Of course, this is eighties. You can hear it. I feel like ATs does high notes really well. They're very exciting. And low notes. Mm-hmm. Operatic. Oh, definitely. They have everything. Okay. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like Beyonce. Okay. Right. I like that. That was fun. Good job, guys. And they do it again. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot of money. There's a lot of money in this production. But you like see all the money. Where are the drugs? Oh yeah! Wow. (laughs) Is that something of like the '80s lord that the '80s are all just drug lords that like came from another dimension? (laughs) Sorry, that was a question. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I (laughs) believe. Oh wow. I love it. The rapping parts make me red. The rapper can rap. It's exactly what I want. It just had everything. It had so much flavor and rhythm. And this red hair one can sing. So are pretty. these the doppelgangers? Or is these, like, which ones are the doppelgangers? I forgot that that was... <gasps> oh. oh! So the doppelgangers are the drug lords. Mm. Got it. <laughs> I'm just so confused because, like, what's say, say My Name? Who is that too? The doppelganger? My name is A to the Z! A to the Z! A to the Z! A to the Z. I get it now. A-T's. 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 Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like that a lot. Hold on. Oh, his face is so pretty. Wow. They move like water. They do. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Wait, <laughs> love that. Love what that. What was that? Oh my god, that was so good! Yes! Okay, editing. Wow! 
There are such triple threats, it's insane. Wait. If you recognize that outro is the instrumental from Treasure, which you re Treasure was a song you guys reacted to after oh, yeah. Pirate King. Is there a name for fans of ATs? Like, do they have a ATNI? ATNI. I'm an ATNI. Yeah. I'm an ATNI. I'm, I'm a fan too. I don't know that I'd call myself that, but <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just believe in them. Like, uh, but what? I like them a lot. <laughs> So what do you think of this song? It's, there seem to be several moments that you're like, okay, I need to talk about that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What was the part? It was like, yeah. Oh yeah. So there was like a little like crescendo in the. Mm -hmm. There's like a sforzando in the uh, like whatever was happening in the ba in the background, the instrumentals. Duh. I and don't then, know. I don't think I remember hearing that in like the official instrumental. So I can't help but wonder if it's just a music video thing. I love the piano. Because I part. really liked it. You liked it. <laughs> I liked it a you, lot. You brought your attention. Yeah, like, and then and then it immediately dropped down to mm. the like whatever this section, the bridge. bridge. Yeah. 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 Um, and I felt like the vocal the vocal timbre was so nice and like delicate with without sounding like I don't know. Like um fragile. Yeah, like it was Break. just like it was like tender mm. um, rather than like precious, which is mm. something that we kind of like don't like as vocalists. Like when you sing very preciously, it's like, like you have like no support and like no. Oh. So when something's like tender, but it's just still. kind of like, it still has like substance mm. and core. And um, yeah, I liked the timbre that they chose for the bridge. And I think that it was like a really nice a little, really nice. There was something flying in front of me. Like, um, really nice contrast to like the, the like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be so interesting to hear ATs with the piano because I feel like there's so much post production in a lot of their songs, and the post production works. I definitely feel like it gives you the sense of. It overwhelms you in, a, in an amazing way, in a great way, exactly the way that I want to be overwhelmed yeah. in. But they're such a vocally talented group. Mm -hmm. Like, you can tell that they have all the high notes, they have all the low notes, like they have so many talented singers. It'd just be really interesting to listen to them in like an acoustic context. Yeah, I agree. Um, because I, I'm usually, like I have been one to say many times, especially like on this, in like these reactions like oh i wonder what they sound like um in like live but i kind of i feel like they don't sound that different and that's why i kind of like their post-production like i don't think that mm -hmm. it's i don't think that it's changing their sound i think that they like i mean i don't know maybe we'd have to i guess we'd really have to see them live but um i think that i think that they they just kind of put it's really thought out and I think that it, like everything that they add in the post production like at, adds cherries on top of the performance rather than like overwhelming the performance completely. Mm. Yeah, if anything, I just say they sound like they swallowed their CDs. I've seen them live several times. <laughs> but just like the lower register stuff, like if it's really low, they typically, they like, if it's rapping, they rap up here instead of like really down here. Or if it's like singing down here, it isn't as projected. It isn't yeah. as loud. That's the only thing. That's mm. typical. And honestly, you can tell, like, you know how I said in the beginning, it starts low and then like the like, so let's say if, if that was like the bass, the baritone, the one that came right after that, sounded like it, it sounded like it was a little like, it's like when I kind of try to sing low and I round my toe and like, that's what it felt like it was not naturally where he sits, mm -hmm. like he was, he was able, he's able to reach those notes, but mm -hmm. like, so I, I could see that being like a little bit of a performance issue, like it wouldn't project as well. Yeah. Um, I ha found a mics on performance if you guys want me to send that to you real quick. Sure. Okay. Mike's on. Sure. I can I t I can tell that they sound exactly how. Yeah. They oh sound how? Like. like you just can kind of hear when something's auto tuned. True. Mm -hmm. And there's no way, especially for tenor voices, especially for high notes, to really make the high notes sound more full if the registration is in a more heady place. Ooh, you can tell mm -hmm. that you can tell the way that they're singing a lot. <laughs> you, you can tell a lot of the way that they're singing the high notes is with the sort of mix and like mm, equal like yeah. T A C T participation. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so excited, by the way. I love the set. I love how they're all in a straight nine because they're about to break it. I don't know. Anyway, three, two, one. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That was. Oh, cool. Yes. Did you hear like the the yeah the second one? It's just kind of like a dark. He's trying to like darken it. Uh, mm -hmm. It kind of reminded me of like that sound like I thought that we had a vibe. You know, like that like. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> They sound good. Mm -hmm. They sound good. I'm at five percent. Yeah, like see, he can say it. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. They're so fun. You can tell that they're having so much fun. Oh, and now they're driving a car. Like, see, they're driving the car and you're just like, you want to be in that car. <laughs> yeah, he's the only true low voice, I would say, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> 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 They performed so well live. Let me just say that. I'll probably say it again. But they performed so yeah, well. Yeah, big fans. Mm -hmm. We're fans. Oh my gosh. There's so much high energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love the fire. Yeah, I love this song. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, did they? Uh, I sometimes I wonder, like, like were they friends that just like could all sing, or like did someone like place them together, like One Direction style? <laughs> I mean, they're so perfect. They had to have been like specially assigned. <laughs> well, what happens with these labels is you audition for these labels, yeah. and then during the training periods, they kind of see who's friends who's, with who, yeah. who would work together with who. I mean, sometimes, um, like, someone joins a label and then they, like, ask a friend to join as well, like, audition as well. Yeah. I think that happened with this one. Okay, cool. Mm. They definitely have so much chemistry together. Yeah. I'm a fan. How do they have all the stamina? Wow, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's incredible. So that's them live, but what what did you parse together for the storyline from the oh. music video? <laughs> oh, I don't know is what that, the storyline is. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Not a clue. What, I don't see, care. <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> I'm awful. I thought we guys were watching this because you were interested in the storyline. <laughs> yeah, we were originally, but, but uh, uh, now <laughs> I think we're just hooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this has an appeal that goes beyond the feasibility or the practicality. Yeah, of I have story. literally no clue. Do you? Okay. <laughs> um, well, so you guys saw, like, that little trumpet and the red flag. People are theorizing that, like, red flag means help. So perhaps the I doppelgangers were calling ATs saying, like, help us. And this was their message of, like, like, come to us. Like, we need help. Because... 
it'll soon be revealed that the holotees are the ones stuck in the dystopian dimension Got it. that are fighting against the government. And so they're calling in ATs from the A universe to come into the Z universe to help them out fight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 wow. So Say My Name was them learning about each other and discovering each other. Wow, do you know what that reminds me of? Mm. Um, I don't know if anyone will get this, but like Phineas and Ferb <laughs> back to like that like dimension. So there were like the other Phineas and Ferbs and whatever is it, like that other dimension and they're meeting each other. And it's like, you know how like that whole vibe was like, steampunk, yes. metal, apocalyptic. Like, I totally get Okay, That was their inspiration for sure. Yeah, 1,000%. <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. Insert Phineas and Ferb put here. Bury the platypus! Beautiful. Has to be.